Move now to an ESPN story that reimagines the college football calendar. The most interesting proposal was that bowl games should be moved from the end of the season, where they are totally obscured by the playoffs, to the beginning of the season, where they could serve as high-profile kickoff games. Not the Rose Bowl or the Orange Bowl, but some of the lesser bowls, like the Poinsettia Bowl or the Weed Eater. Well, man, do you like this idea? No. No, I don't, Tony, but we, we've established... I'm admitting to the college football nerd that I am. I'm admitting to being that. I'm a, I'm a booster. I, I, I'm a season ticket holder. I, I care about this stuff and the tradition of it. I, I don't even want Maryland and Penn State in the Big Ten. To me, I ignore them. They're not really Not Penn State. It. Rutgers. You don't want Rutgers. You want Rutgers, Penn State. Rutgers, you? Maryland, right, and Penn right. State. I don't want any of them. Oh, and Penn State. I okay, like UCLA okay. and USC because we have a relationship with them through the Pac-12. And it's weird. But I, I admit to my weirdness. And I thought as soon as I read all this stuff this morning and last night, I thought I hate it. And then, Tony, I realized, oh, wait, on my phone is my e-ticket to Ireland in August to go see Northwestern play Nebraska in Dublin. So while I can sit here and say to you, I hate it, I'm participating willingly in just the thing yeah. that I am communicating to my own school leaders and to Big Ten people that I know. I hate this. There are other things in life that get in the way, like going back to school. I don't want this. Oh, wait, I'm going to Ireland to watch a game. I don't know how to, yeah. I, I, I don't know how to reconcile well, that. That's a conference game. Look, you, you know me well enough to know that I came to college football very late. In New yep. York, there is no college football. And then I came to love college football. And if they asked me about college football right now, I would tell you, it's perfect. As far as I'm concerned, perfect. You don't have to change a thing. But I, I, if you tell me that it's possible that I can get a non-conference, high-profile game to start the season, like, say, Ohio State, Texas A&M, or UCLA, Florida, I'm going to say fine. And if you say, well, we want to call it a bowl, I go, I don't care what you call it. You, you do whatever right. you want. You can call it what you want. But I also think one of the reasons for this is because the college playoff has obscured bowl games and rendered them moot at this point. A lot of players, if they're not in the playoffs, they don't even play in the bowl games because they don't want to yeah. get hurt and lose a position in the draft. And a lot of guys we know, Rotarians in plaid jackets, say, well, what happened to us? We used to be important. Remember us? We were a big deal. So I, it feels like they're retrofitting college, Mike, because we've passed this stuff now. We're into a multi-team playoff, and we're into super conferences. And the yeah, fact of Tony, the matter is the bowl games feel anachronistic. They do. Yes. But, Tony, we got two weeks in December. Let me tell you something who's going to decide this, our bosses. Because ESPN's entire TV. programming load, the TV. month of December, <laughs> we get a, we get a few days off, by the way, thank you, is the Which bowl is games. Good. It's just programming for this for ESPN, and it's 19 platforms. So what do you do in December? I like sitting around a fireplace, having some eggnog, not spiked, but they're moving and watching this, some Mike. stupid they're, bowl game. They're moving game. it to September. They're moving yeah, it early. Want they want it I'm in the first I'm not going to be in front okay. of a fireplace with eggnog in September. I'm not. It's Tony. Well, you, it's weird you tradition. Ice I'm going to even say it's useless. Bowl. I can't drink what sweet the, tea anymore either. So what are we doing? What are we talking Oslo about? Bowl. September. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.